What's up, nerds? So I finished episode three of Ahsoka. And I have to say, like, uh, after it was done, I was like, wah, wah, wah. I have some thoughts, uh, obviously, and I'll do that in the breakdown and in the my review at the end. Um, I won't take up too much of your time because this episode wasn't as long as the first one or the second one. But all right, let's break this sucker down and then we'll wrap it all up afterwards. All right, here we go. Ren starts her training under Ahsoka and Hu Yang's guidance as she struggles with her inability to use the Force. And I don't know how I feel about how they were like anyone can become a Jedi because we're all connected to the Force. But I do like Hu Yang and how he was honest, you know, telling, you know, like he, he was telling them the hard truth that they needed to hear. Like, you know, the fact that Ren is not that great of a Jedi and she wouldn't be accepted by the Jedi Order because she wasn't she's not the, the cream of the crop, if you will. But I do have some advice. Maybe Ren just needs to, you know, live her truth and then she can live as a Jedi, you know? She, bam, you're a Jedi because you want to live your truth. How about that? Sindula meets with Mon Mothma, the Chancellor of the New Republic, and a group of influential senators in order to gain permission to send the Republic forces to Satos. Despite Mothma's support, the senators refuse to believe that Thrawn and Bridger are alive and deny Sindula's request. Man, that Asian senator was such a dickhole. I mean, I bet he's an imperial sympathizer. I mean, I'm calling it now. If it ends up being that way, I'll be like, oh, called it and everything. But um, I did like Hera telling that that dude about how he didn't fight in the war and he just sat back to see who would cross the finish line like he was hedging his bets. I did like that because that's that's how a lot of like, you know, people in politics are. They don't go and fight the wars. You know, like Wonder Woman said in her her first movie. I did like that. It was also nice to get to see Jason, her and what's his face's son. Although I have to be honest, uh, the child actor was not very good acting wise. So I bet we're going to get some more stellar acting from that kid in the future, which I'm looking forward to. Also, I don't see why Hera just doesn't grab up the ghost and go help her friends out with her own ship, you know? Or at least take some of the fighters with her. I mean, what are they gonna do? The Republic's not gonna kick those fighters out. They need us, oh, they need all the fighters, fighter pilots they can get. So, you know, those two, that Mon Calamari guy and that black guy, why don't they just chop on their A-wings with her and just go help out her friends? Uh, that's what I would have done. But, you know, what do I know? Ahsoka, Ren, and Hu Yang travel to Satos, where they discover the Eye of Scion, but are intercepted by a squadron of fighters led by Hati and Marak. So it was nice to see this dogfight go on, but... Other than that, there wasn't anything of substance to this show. I thought that Ahsoka out on the hall of the ship was a little ridiculous, but didn't overwhelmingly hate it. It just felt a little too silly. Also, when they get hit by that big ring, they, they're like floating in space and everything. And they're trying to get the, the ship fixed and, and all that. It felt a little Star Trek-y in that moment, in my opinion. But that could just be me. You never know. The group escape by flying through a pod of Pergrel and land on the surface of Satos. I mean, these space whales had to show up again at some point in time, right? But I, I thought they were ugly. And I always thought they were silly in the animated show. You know, I always thought they were just weird, you know, but they played their part. However, Hati is aware that they are hiding somewhere in the forest. I do find a hottie attractive with her crazy eyes, you know. Uh, one could say she's a hottie. <laughs> and that Marak guy, I, I have a feeling that the big reveal of him being Ezra Bridger or Star Killer, or, you know, name a male character from Star Wars, or maybe a female, and it's going to there, there subvert expectations. But I have a feeling that it's going to be a little anticlimactic. I just, I'm getting the feeling. As a result... Skull dispatches his forces to hunt them down. And that's the end of this episode, you guys. Poor Ray Stevens, man. He just gets, he just has to sit there and hand out one liners. And I'm all like, oh man, what a waste of a talent, you know? Okay, so this is the thing about this show. I have a question for you. Who do you think Marak is? You know, the guy in the helmet. Like, who could he be? Uh, maybe I'll leave a poll and everything. I'm I'm very curious to see he, who he is, but I have a feeling that it's just not gonna be, you know. It's just not going to be that great. You know what I'm saying? I just have that feeling, but we'll see.
And we only have five episodes left, so they better bring in Thrawn real freaking quick, because I a small piece of me has a feeling that they're going to bring him in, like, episode seven, and then we're just going to get him episode seven and eight, and they're going to defeat him, like, really quickly in episode eight. And I'm all like, uh, and apparently episode seven ha- is, like, the longest running episode. I don't know. I read some article. It doesn't even matter. But as I said before, nothing of real substance happened in this episode. I mean, the spaceship fight was all right. But other than that, we we aren't that much further along in the story. I just feel like the payoff isn't going to be that great. Because in this episode, like I said, we got that huge dogfight with the ships and everything, which I said was it was all it was all right, you know. But I did feel that at the end of the day, that's all that happened was a starship fight. And we find out they have this hyperspace ring, which I just go. We already knew they had that from the last episode. We just didn't know exactly what it was. And we did get to see the whales. But at the same time, the whales were in the trailer. So it's not like we were we weren't expecting that stuff. So long story short, this episode was just, again, mediocre at best. I'm like, I don't know, man. Um, I have a question also, and I'll put a, I'll put a poll in the the community section. But if this doesn't do well, this show... Because there's been some some conflicting stuff. Disney said they got 14 million, I think they said. Uh, and then I read something that it was the lowest watched. Uh, the first episode was the lowest watched Star Wars show. But if this show does poorly, do you think that Filoni movie will get made? Or do you think there's just no stopping that starship and, and it's going to it's going forward no matter what? I just feel like I feel I feel like those movies aren't going to get made. And the Filoni movie, I just feel like if this is not good, why would you give Filoni a whole movie? I don't know, man. They're just putting a, putting their all their eggs in, in all in the Filoni basket. And I'm just like, I'm sorry. Savior my ass of Star Wars. He's just, I don't know. He seems, he's it's very silly. He seems like he doesn't even like the fans to me. I don't know. It's just, it's just so, it's silly. That's a good, good, good word to use for this. But yeah. All right, you guys. That's my thoughts on this episode. Like I said before, it's not it's not terrible, but it's not that good. It's like it's just like, eh, whatever. It's cool. Uh, pew pew, you know, and everything. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. They could pull it out in the end. You never know. You never know. Sometimes you, you start slow and then you just, you know, you, you give them the, the, the finish shot. So we'll see how it works out. All right, you guys, that's my breakdown and review of this episode. But tell me what you guys thought about this episode. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What was your favorite part? You know, who's your favorite character so far? Did you like any of the things that happened in this episode? You know, where where do you think it's going? Who do you think Marok is? Uh, Tell me what you guys think. As always, if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm. And small channels like mine, we just keep getting shoved to the back of the line. As always, go ahead and leave all your comments comments in that section down below if you like this video go and hit that like button you know i won't mind if you're my channel please hit that subscribe button i'd greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys on my next ahsoka breakdown and review you guys have a good day bye